Hey everyone, Michelle here, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. A little bit about myself. I am a special education teacher turned homeschool mom. I have a first grader and a ninth grader and I love to make home homeschooling videos so help me homeschooling parents. So today I want to give you a quick walkthrough and how it's working for us of North Star Geography by Bright Idea Press. So if you're interested in finding a little bit more about this geography curriculum, make sure to stay tuned. So make sure when you're done watching this video, you go ahead and link on the videos I'm going to have at the end for some videos that might be helpful for you. And also make sure if you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell, make sure you do so. We are using North Star Geography for my daughter for ninth grade and like I said, from Bright Idea Press. And so far we started and have we done lesson one, uh, we, you know, we started working on lesson one and so far I like what I see. I like that the lessons, and I'm gonna give you a walkthrough, but I like that the lessons are written, we both are reading them, you know, together, but I like that the lessons are written, like the author is talking to you, just the way he talks and the way it's written is really good. It's really easy to understand. At first I thought it might be a little bit advanced, but I think it's, it's good for her. It's really good. So I'm gonna show you. So when I bought this from christianbooks.com, yes, I bought it from you know, Christian Books. What I got was the book. And then there is a link inside the book with a code to get all the downloadables. I'll show you as many of the downloadables that I have. I haven't downloaded all of them. I'm printing them out, but a lot of them. So I will show those either and how we're using and how you know, we are gonna use them. So, so this is the textbook. I'm gonna show you really quick here the table of contents. So the unit one, uh, for here we're gonna be working on math skills on film. Um, geography skills, we're going to be doing physical geography and human geography, okay? So unit one, it talks more how to read a map, how to use a map, where the maps come from, how to use, you know, a navigation system. Then we're going to learn, and the second unit, we're going to learn about physical geography, okay? The structure of the earth, I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit closer here, uh, topography, the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, atmosphere, and the biosphere. And then we're gonna do about we're gonna learn about social geography. I'm sorry, human geography, survival in society, environmental stewardship, agriculture, culture, heritage, and government. Okay, so those are the different units. So we're not just gonna learn about maps. We're also gonna learn about physical geography of our Earth and also about cultures. So when you open the book here, also it gives you a teacher introduction. And it gives you a kind of like a quick overview of all the activities that you are going to be getting from the downloadable. Okay, so you you get you know the reader, but it's also as a download uh, all the hands-on activities. And I'll show you that in a second. How are you going to be building your child? Going to be building their own atlas, note-taking pages, a memorization list, and I'll show you all that. Research question, quizzes and tests, vocabulary, graphic organizers, and a reference list. You have two options on doing this, you know, curriculum. You can do it in one year for th 32 weeks. You can do it for two years, 64 weeks, or you can do it in one semester for 16 weeks. We're doing the one year for 32 weeks. Each lesson, I'm going to show you here, each lesson takes two weeks to complete. Okay, you can see here. Each lesson takes two weeks to complete. And here it gives you, of course, you as a homeschooler, don't have to follow everything to the T, but I have really enjoyed, uh, it's, not enjoy, it's been really helpful to look at the, at the schedule down here. We are doing geography, we don't do it every day, we do, we're gonna do it twice a week um, for a block of two hours. So we're gonna try to cram everything, you know, uh, for, you know, for those two days, you know, during week one and during week two. But here, the author, you know, recommends, it says if you have an advanced student or is a student that's in junior or senior year, make sure you do everything in here. But if you don't, there's some things that you can skip. Skip, like you can skip the you know, memorization, you can skip the vocabulary, the research questions, fact files, and the thematic maps. We are not skipping the you know, memorization because I do want her to learn where all these countries are and you know, how to, you know, how to find them in a map. 
But we're skipping a couple of the other things. I might have her do some of the research question for some of the units, but not for all of them. And so, but that's what, you know, I recommend that here that you don't have to do it all, especially if you have a younger high schooler or one, of the, or one that is not too advanced. So that's the option for you. So I'm gonna give you a quick look about how the lessons look like, and then I'll show you all some of the downloadables that I have. So this is what the, the, the chapter looks like. So the first one, I'm just gonna show you what is geography. And there, it looks like it's a lot, but as you, it's easy to read. So it goes pretty, you know, it's not, it's not dry. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So right here, so this is lesson two, I'm sorry, le lesson one, we're learning about maps, how to understand maps. Okay. So all the lessons are kind of structured the same way. And what I want to show you, okay, so as we reading this, so one of the things that you can download are some note-taking pages. So in total, there are 16 lessons. I just printed out the ones for the first unit where it just talks about geography about you know geography skills, but each lesson is going to have this note-taking um, page. So as they read, you, I, I've been trying to help her learn how to underline what's important. Uh, this is very new to us, you know, to her. So that's how we're working, you know, through. So we are being reading, we do the first left class, we do half the chapter, the second half, you know, second class is we're doing twice a week, we do the other half and we take the notes here. The good thing, this right here, I'm gonna show you another one of the downloads. So the test, the you know, the quiz is exactly the same thing as the note take as the notes. So it will be easier for your child to study for the test, and then you have the map right here. This is the map test. Okay. So each lesson at the end you take a test. But it's the same, the notes are the same as the quiz. So you, your student can study from that. If you want to add some other things, you can do that. But if you don't, and then, you know, you, you can grade it as, you know, 10 points. And you can grade it right there. And this is the math test. Okay. You have the option if you don't want to, this is one of the things, the math test, you know, that you can't take away, but I'm doing it with her because I think it's a helpful skill to have. The other the other thing that will be a download will be all the maps to do the, the atlas. So far, we've only done one. So I'm going to show you. So we label, it tells you, and I'll, I'll just show you that this is the map that you're going to be labeling. And they'll, and, and they'll tell you for each lesson in one of the demos what everything that you're going to be, you know, labeling. I'll show you that in a second. So this right here, and I already printed out all the different maps. Okay. And it tells you in each lesson, which map you're going to use and, and, and you'll have a list of everything you have to label. One of the things that comes in one of the downloads is the grading rubric. I like this. Um, it's a rubric here for the things that are not a, like easy test to grade for the assignment. There's going to be a lot of activities that are going to be the student be, you know, completing that might not be easy to grade. They might be a little bit harder. So there's a rubric. I love the rubric is already here. Okay. If there's even a Excel sheet in there, when you get the downloads to so input the grades in there and it, it, and, and you can take, you know, the things that you're not working on and everything's right there. So I love it. So this is what it looks like right here. And this is the rubric to grade the, uh, the assignments, the ones that are not, you know, factual. And then there's a kind of a grading sheet right here. And you put the grades for all the tests, all the quizzes, the maps, all the fact files, the research questions. Like I said, we're not doing everything in here, but those are the different things you can grade, the final exam and all the activities and projects. So you can put your grades right here. And it's the, you know, it's the, uh, it's one of the downloads. It's an Excel sheet that you can input all those grades in there for geography. So the other thing that's in there is the activities. So I have all the activities here. I'm going to show you a couple. So for lesson one, there were, there are three activities. You can try to do them all. I don't know if we will go to do them, all of them. I'll pick and choose the ones that I feel would be easier for her or things that I think she'll enjoy. But you have these activities that you can complete throughout the two weeks. Okay, lesson one, geography. Let me show you here for lesson two, we're gonna be working on maps. So we're gonna, you know, learn how to determine latitude and longitude the easy way, 
you can make a compass, you can uh, go orienting, orienting. There's even an activity here, I think it's for lesson three, how to do, you know, to do some, you know, geocaching. And we've never done, you know, geocaching, so we're gonna, I'm gonna try, you know, I downloaded the app already, so we can go do, do this, you know, so, some of that. But yeah, so I keep that in my, you know, teacher notebook, I, all the activities, each lesson, there's a list of the activities or the materials that you will need for all the lessons. And you can pick as many as you want. We're trying to do as many as we can. If there are things that are easy to find or easy for me to prepare. So yes, just being honest is the difference. So this is the, the list of the different countries or the things in each map that the kid, that your child is going to label. So for lesson one, we already did that one and I showed you the map. This is the world, you know, physical map. It tells you exactly everything that your child needs to label on that map. Okay. And also in the, in the bottom, if you're doing the whole everything, the fact file that you have to do. Okay. So we have that for lesson two when we start on next week. You see your uh, political map, and she's going to be labeling all these countries right here. Okay, so we, we've been working on that. Uh, so the last thing I have that I downloaded is the list of the countries to memorize. So not everything that you're la labeling in the map your, is your, your child has to memorize. For example, with this first map that we did, we labeled the equator and the prime meridian, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, but if that's not on the list of the things to memorize, so meaning it's not gonna be on the test. If you wanna add that, I'm sure, you know, you can do that if that's something that you want your child to learn, and then maybe you can add it to the map and you know, make the, you know, the test you know, more points. But based on the, on the, on the curriculum, these are the things, the, the things that are in the memorization list um, download, those are the things that they are they're gonna be you know responsible to learning memorizing for the map test so this is it that's all i have that i downloaded because we're not doing everything or there's some research you know some research questions that they can do stuff you know to look online there's also some fact sheets where they they find out different countries and find out different facts for the countries so yes i think that's all i have here but this is and so far we only with this is our week two working on this and I mean you know I think it's gonna be a, a good you know curriculum we're doing it twice a week you know you know two blocks of two hours and we take as much time you know if it doesn't take us the whole hour to do what I have planned for the day then we're done but you know if, if it does then we'll, we'll work on that so thank you so much for watching I'm gonna put a link below where you can get this curriculum it is not an affiliate link Bright Idea Press does not sell the curriculum in their website anymore. So if you go into their website, they're going to send you to get the, the curriculum. I know in other places, I got mine from christianbooks.com and they're a great you know, company. So I'm going to link it be uh, below. It is not an affiliate link. Okay. So if you have any questions, make sure you post them below and then make, uh, make sure you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. And also make sure if you don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram that you do so for more ideas and motivation. I will see you also.